Orbital elements are the parameters required to uniquely identify a specific orbit. In celestial mechanics these elements are generally considered in classical two-body systems, where a Kepler orbit is used. There are many different ways to mathematically describe the same orbit, but certain schemes, each consisting of a set of six parameters, are commonly used in astronomy and orbital mechanics. A real orbit and its elements changes over time due to gravitational perturbations by other objects and the effects of relativity. A Keplerian orbit is merely an idealized, mathematical approximation at a particular time. Topic. Keplerian elements The traditional orbital elements are the six Keplerian elements, after Johannes Kepler and his laws of planetary motion. When viewed from an inertial frame, two orbiting bodies trace out distinct trajectories. Each of these trajectories has its focus at the common center of mass. When viewed from a non-inertial frame centered on one of the bodies, only the trajectory of the opposite body is apparent. Keplerian elements describe these non-inertial trajectories. An orbit has two sets of Keplerian elements depending on which body is used as the point of reference. The reference body is called the primary, the other body is called the secondary. The primary does not necessarily possess more mass than the secondary, and even when the bodies are of equal mass, the orbital elements depend on the choice of the primary. Two elements define the shape and size of the ellipse. Eccentricity e shape of the ellipse, describing how much it is elongated compared to a circle, not marked in diagram. Semi-major axis a, the sum of the periapsis and apoapsis distances divided by two. For circular orbits, the semi-major axis is the distance between the centers of the bodies, not the distance of the bodies from the center of mass. Two elements define the orientation of the orbital plane in which the ellipse is embedded. Inclination I vertical tilt of the ellipse with respect to the reference plane, measured at the ascending node where the orbit passes upward through the reference plane, the green angle I in the diagram. Tilt angle is measured perpendicular to line of intersection between orbital plane and reference plane. Any three points on an ellipse will define the ellipse orbital plane. The plane and the ellipse are both two-dimensional objects defined in three-dimensional space. Longitude of the ascending node omega horizontally orients the ascending node of the ellipse where the orbit passes upward through the reference plane, symbolized by with respect to the reference frame's vernal point symbolized by. This is measured in the reference plane, and is shown as the green angle omega in the diagram. The remaining two elements are as follows. Argument of periapsis omega defines the orientation of the ellipse in the orbital plane, as an angle measured from the ascending node to the periapsis the closest point the satellite object comes to the primary object around which it orbits, the blue angle omega in the diagram. True anomaly nu, theta, or f at epoch m -O defines the position of the orbiting body along the ellipse at a specific time the epoch. The mean anomaly is a mathematically convenient angle which varies linearly with time, but which does not correspond to a real geometric angle. It can be converted into the true anomaly nu, which does represent the real geometric angle in the plane of the ellipse, between periapsis closest approach to the central body and the position of the orbiting object at any given time. Thus, the true anomaly is shown as the red angle nu in the diagram, and the mean anomaly is not shown. The angles of inclination, longitude of the ascending node, and argument of periapsis can also be described as the Euler angles defining the orientation of the orbit relative to the reference coordinate system. Note that non-elliptic trajectories also exist, but are not closed, and are thus not orbits. If the eccentricity is greater than 1, the trajectory is a hyperbola. If the eccentricity is equal to 1 and the angular momentum is 0, the trajectory is radial. If the eccentricity is 1 and there is angular momentum, the trajectory is a parabola. Topic. Required parameters Given an inertial frame of reference and an arbitrary epoch a specified point in time, exactly six parameters are necessary to unambiguously define an arbitrary and unperturbed orbit. This is because the problem contains six degrees of freedom. 
These correspond to the three spatial dimensions which define position x, y, z in a Cartesian coordinate system, plus the velocity in each of these dimensions. These can be described as orbital state vectors, but this is often an inconvenient way to represent an orbit, which is why Keplerian elements are commonly used instead. Sometimes the epoch is considered a seventh orbital parameter, rather than part of the reference frame. If the epoch is defined to be at the moment when one of the elements is zero, the number of unspecified elements is reduced to five. The sixth parameter is still necessary to define the orbit, it is merely numerically set to zero by convention or moved into the definition of the epoch with respect to real-world clock time. Topic. Alternative parametrizations Keplerian elements can be obtained from orbital state vectors a three-dimensional vector for the position and another for the velocity by manual transformations or with computer software. Other orbital parameters can be computed from the Keplerian elements such as the period, apoapsis, and periapsis. When orbiting the Earth, the last two terms are known as the apogee and perigee. It is common to specify the period instead of the semi-major axis in Keplerian element sets, as each can be computed from the other provided the standard gravitational parameter, gm, is given for the central body. Instead of the mean anomaly at epoch, the mean anomaly m, mean longitude, true anomaly nu0, or rarely, the eccentric anomaly might be used. Using, for example, the mean anomaly instead of mean anomaly at epoch means that time t must be specified as a seventh orbital element. Sometimes it is assumed that mean anomaly is zero at the epoch by choosing the appropriate definition of the epoch, leaving only the five other orbital elements to be specified. Different sets of elements are used for various astronomical bodies. The eccentricity, E, and either the semi-major axis, A, or the distance of periapsis, Q, are used to specify the shape and size of an orbit. The angle of the ascending node, omega, the inclination, i, and the argument of periapsis, omega, or the longitude of periapsis, p specify the orientation of the orbit in its plane. Either the longitude at epoch, L0, the mean anomaly at epoch, MO, or the time of perihelion passage, T0, are used to specify a known point in the orbit. The choices made depend whether the vernal equinox or the node are used as the primary reference. The semi-major axis is known if the mean motion and the gravitational mass are known. It is also quite common to see either the mean anomaly M or the mean longitude L expressed directly, without either MO or L0 as intermediary steps, as a polynomial function with respect to time. This method of expression will consolidate the mean motion N into the polynomial as one of the coefficients. The appearance will be that L or M are expressed in a more complicated manner, but we will appear to need one fewer orbital element. Mean motion can also be obscured behind citations of the orbital period P. Topic: <laughs> Euler angle transformations. The angles omega, i, omega are the Euler angles alpha, beta, gamma with the notations of that article, characterizing the orientation of the coordinate system x, y, z from the inertial coordinate frame i, j, k, where i, j is in the equatorial plane of the central body. i is in the direction of the vernal equinox. j is perpendicular to i and with i defines the reference plane. K is perpendicular to the reference plane. Orbital elements of bodies, planets, comets, asteroids in the solar system usually use the ecliptic as that plane. X, Y are in the orbital plane and with X in the direction to the pericenter periapsis, Z is perpendicular to the plane of the orbit, Y is mutually perpendicular to X, and Z. Then, the transformation from the i, j, k, coordinate frame to the x, y, z frame with the Euler angles omega, i, omega is x 1 equals cos omega cos omega minus sin omega cos i sin omega 
x 2 equals sin omega cos omega plus cos omega cos i sin omega x 3 equals sin i sin omega y 1 equals minus cos omega sin omega minus sin omega cos i cos omega y 2 equals minus sin omega sin omega plus cos omega cos i cos omega y 3 equals sin i cos omega z 1 equals sin i sin omega z 2 equals minus sin i cos omega Z three equals cos i display style begin aligned x underscore one and equals cos omega c d o t cos omega sin omega c d o t cos i c d o t sin omega x underscore two and equals sin omega c d o t cos omega plus cos omega c d o t cos i c d o t sin omega x underscore three and equals sin i c d o t sin omega y underscore one and equals cos omega c d o t sin omega sin omega c d o t cos i c d o t cos omega y underscore two and equals sin omega c d o t sin omega plus cos omega c d o t cos i c d o t cos omega y underscore three and equals sin i c d o t cos omega z underscore one and equals sin i c d o t sin omega Z underscore two and equals sin i c d o t cos omega z underscore three and equals cos i end aligned x one by two by three y one y two y three z one z two z three equals cos omega sin omega zero minus sin omega cos omega zero 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 one one zero 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 cos I sin I zero minus sin i cos i Cos omega sin omega zero minus sin omega cos omega o o o one display style left begin array c c c x underscore one and x underscore two and x underscore three y underscore one and y underscore two and y underscore three z underscore one and z underscore two and z underscore three end array right equals left begin array c c c cos omega and sin omega and zero sin omega and cos omega and 0 0 and 0 and 1 end array right c d o t left begin array c c c 1 and 0 and 0 0 and cos i and sin i 0 and sin i and cos i end array right c d o t left begin array c c c cos omega and sin omega and 0 sin omega and cos omega and 0 0 and 0 and 1 end array right where x caret equals x 1 i caret plus x 2 j caret plus 
x 3 k carrot y carrot equals y 1 i carrot plus y 2 j carrot plus y 3 k carrot z carrot equals z 1 i carrot plus z 2 j carrot plus z 3 k carrot Display style begin aligned hat x and equals x underscore one hat i plus x underscore two hat j plus x underscore three hat k hat y and equals y underscore one hat i plus y underscore two hat j plus y underscore three hat k hat z and equals z underscore one hat i plus z underscore two hat j plus z underscore three hat k end aligned the inverse transformation which computes the three coordinates in the IJK system given the three or two coordinates in the XYZ system, is represented by the inverse matrix. According to the rules of matrix algebra, the inverse matrix of the product of the three rotation matrices is obtained by inverting the order of the three matrices and switching the signs of the three Euler angles. The transformation from X, Y, Z to Euler angles omega, I, omega is Omega equals ARG minus Z two Z one I equals ARG Z three Z one two plus Z two two Omega equals a r g y three x three display style begin aligned omega and equals operator name a r g left z underscore two z underscore one right i and equals operator name a r g left z underscore three s q r t z underscore one carrot two plus z underscore two carrot two right omega and equals operator name a r g left y underscore three x underscore three right end aligned where a r g X, Y signifies the polar argument that can be computed with the standard function at and to Y, X available in many programming languages. Topic: <laughs> Orbit prediction. Under ideal conditions of a perfectly spherical central body and zero perturbations, all orbital elements except the mean anomaly are constants. The mean anomaly changes linearly with time, scaled by the mean motion n equals mu a 3. Display style n equals sqrt frac mu a caret 3. Hence if at any instant t0 the orbital parameters are e0, a0, i0, omega0, omega0, mo, then the elements at time t0 plus delta t is given by e0, a0, i0, omega0, omega0, mo plus n delta t. Topic: <laughs> Perturbations and elemental variance. Unperturbed, two-body, Newtonian orbits are always conic sections, so the Keplerian elements define an ellipse, parabola, or hyperbola. Real orbits have perturbations, so a given set of Keplerian elements accurately describes an orbit only at the epoch. Evolution of the orbital elements takes place due to the gravitational pull of bodies other than the primary, the nonsphericity of the primary, atmospheric drag, relativistic effects, radiation pressure, electromagnetic forces, and so on. Keplerian elements can often be used to produce useful predictions at times near the epoch. Alternatively, real trajectories can be modeled as a sequence of Keplerian orbits that osculate, kiss, or touch the real trajectory. 
They can also be described by the so-called planetary equations, differential equations which come in different forms developed by Lagrange, Gauss, Delaunay, Poincaré, or Hill. Topic: <laughs> Two-line elements. Keplerian elements parameters can be encoded as text in a number of formats. The most common of them is the NASA NORAD two-line elements TLE format, originally designed for use with 80-column punched cards, but still in use because it is the most common format and can be handled easily by all modern data storages as well. Depending on the application and object orbit, the data derived from TLEs older than 30 days can become unreliable. Orbital positions can be calculated from TLEs through the SGP, SGP4, SDP4, SGP8, SDP8 algorithms. Example of a two line element 127651U03004A07083.496362 Two two seven six five one oh three nine point Delaunay variables The Delaunay orbital elements, commonly referred to as Delaunay variables, are action angle coordinates consisting of the argument of periapsis, the mean anomaly and the longitude of the ascending node, along with their conjugate momenta. They are used to simplify perturbative calculations in celestial mechanics, for example while investigating the cosi lidiv oscillations in hierarchical triple systems. They were introduced by Charles Eugene Delaunay during his study of the motion of the Moon. Topic. See also Beta angle Ephemeris Geopotential model Orbital state vectors Proper orbital elements Osculating orbit